Okay, today we're working on a 96S10 4.3. Uh, it's sat up for a while. It's had some um, work done to it, as you can tell. But the main thing is the intake manifold gaskets were leaking, and when they got changed out, the timing didn't go back in properly, so we're going to work on that and then give it a tune-up. Okay, to verify that we're at top dead center, we can do a few things. One, stick a screwdriver in the number one spark plug hole and rotate the crank and watch it spin out. And when it's all the way out, then you'll know that the piston is at top dead center. Also, obviously very hard to see, there's a mark right there and then there's a mark on the timing cover. Get that lined up. But the thing is, there's two marks on the harmonic balancer. The second mark goes there. Then when you crawl under the vehicle, you'll see the first mark is right there and it lines up with that notch. Obviously it looks off but when you look at it at this angle it'll be straight. But the problem is, just because your piston is at top dead center, doesn't mean you're on your compression stroke. So, I took a few things off so I could get to the valve cover. And to know that you're at top dead center on your compression stroke, your valves will be both closed, which means both push rods and rocker arms will be loose because the valves are closed. So we got the distributor out. See, uh, I'm not sure what was going on there. Distributor cap out. There's the rotor. It'll get changed. Got the wires out, plugs out. Now these distributors are pain in the butt. They have these little torque screws and they're hard to get to and get out without falling all over the place. And same with the bit. If you don't have a proper bit, you can just electrical tape one to a quarter inch bit or a quarter inch socket. So now we're going to pull the distributor and I'm gonna to point to it. There's a number six right there. At top dead center on compression stroke, the rotor needs to be pointing to that number right there. And where this cap sits like this, here's your number one right here. And if you follow it, it actually goes all the way over here. So when you flip it over, that's where your distributor will be pointing to. You would think that that contact would be the number two but number two actually travels to the next one. So we're gonna get the distributor out, get it pointed in the right direction, put a new rotor on it, and we'll go from there. Okay, again, brought everything to top dead center and on the compression stroke. If you bring it to top dead center and it's not on the compression stroke, the valves aren't closed on number one cylinder, then rotate the crank another 180 degrees. Got the distributor back in and it's seated all the way down which means the oil pump is engaged and the rotor is pointing to the number six. The hardest part is getting the oil pump lined up and you can fight it and fight it and fight it because when you drop the distributor down the gears have to line up, the rotor has to be in the right spot, and the oil pump has to line up with the slot on the bottom of the distributor shaft. If you fight it for too long, all you have to do is put the distributor in, figure out where the oil pump needs to be, rotate the motor, pull the distributor out, and check and see if the oil pump is in the right spot, and then rotate the engine back to top dead center with the distributor out and then you can drop the distributor right in.
Okay guys, got the 4.3 back together after replacing the intake manifold gasket and then putting the distributor in wrong and getting all that messed up so I fixed that, new plugs, wires, cap, rotor still need some work bypassed, locked up air conditioning compressor Alright, first fire. Let's see what we got. Pressure still. Accelerates really good. Idle's good. I'm gonna let it, let it run for a little while and uh, check for leaks.